Close your eyes. Try to stay with the breath. Take a cup, couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. And put your attention right there. And then look after the breath. Notice when it's getting too long, too short. Make adjustments. When you look after the breath in this way, it's, it's good for the body. And it's good for the mind. Gives the mind a good place to stay. And the body benefits too. But the breath circulates freely throughout the body. It's good for all the organs in the body. Especially for any disease that's related to stress, the disease will be lightened quite a bit. It's like the owner of a house. If the house has the owner staying inside, the house benefits and the owner benefits. If the owner is running in and out all the time, not paying too much attention to what's going on in the house, both sides suffer. The owner doesn't have any shelter, and there's no one to look after the house. Dry rot can set in, pests can move in. All kinds of things can happen inside the house if the owner isn't taking good care of it. And then when the owner does try to stay there, he's surrounded by pests, surrounded by all kinds of things that make life difficult in the house. As life goes on, we spend more and more time having to face the fact that there are pains in the body, and the mind gets more and more tied down to the body as a result. So you want to put it in a good shape so the body will be a good place to stay, and the mind knows how to take care of things inside. You become a good handyman around your house, inside here. You know how to deal with pains in the legs, pains in the knees, pains in whatever, as you do with the breath. That way both sides benefit. The house stays in good shape and the owner has good shelter, comfortable shelter to stay in. And so the mind has good shelter like this, then it's a lot easier to deal with. If it's exposed to sun and rain and all kinds of difficulties outside, it's going to be in a bad mood. And when it's in a bad mood, it's not going to want to do what's good. It's going to want to simply do what it feels like doing. It doesn't think about the long term. It wants gratification in the short term. But when the mind is well protected, has a good place to stay, then it's more willing to think about long-term consequences and act in line with those consequences. It makes it a lot easier to do the right thing and to avoid doing the wrong things. So stay around the house. Fix things up as they begin to fall apart. Get rid of the pests inside, in other words, your greed, aversion, and delusion. You'll have a good place to stay, and the house will stay good for a long time.